In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving limits of a function very fast with Casio FS CG50 calculator in seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now, after going through this video, I guarantee you that you'll be able to solve problems involving limits with Casio FS CG50 calculator in seconds. So, ensure you stay with me to the very end of this video. You're going to learn a lot, guys. So, having known that, let's get the Casio calculator now and go into the details of the video or this video all right so this is Casio fs cg50 calculator now the very first thing you have to do will be to clear or reset your calculator the sense of doing this is to put your calculator in default mode to remove whatever previous value you might have stored uh the calculator all right so to simply reset it all you have to do is to use this navigation button all right, so we are going to go to system. So this is system. When you get here, you pay execute. Execute on this calculator signifies equal to. So when you press execute, you will see reset F5. All right, so once you press F5, you go to next page. Use press F6. All right, so initialize or F2. Okay, so F1 stands for yes. We press F1. So once you press F1, it will begin to reset it as indicated here so it's beginning to reset the calculator very, very important guys that you reset it before you begin to solve your questions so it's done it is it press is it so it's now reset so this is the question we're going to solve we have three questions here to practice with all right so they are very, very simple in a matter of seconds the answer will display all right Okay, so now the next thing you have to do after resetting will be to let's begin question one. Okay, question said the limit evaluate the limit extended to two. So we have these cubic functions, numerator and at the denominator. All right, so you press execute for one matrix. All right, so once you do it, what you have to do now. The idea behind solving limits with the Casio calculator will be to add this constant 0.001. Note it 0.001 to the way number the limit is tending to. So in the case of this question, one is tending to two. So we're going to do we're going to add so two plus 0.001. Alright, so we press a execute now you store this as x in the calculator all right very important so once you add 0 0.001 to the array number you store it as x in the calculator to store all you have to do now will be to press this arrow button first then press alpha and x is at this plus button then press execute and indicate that it has been stored all right so now that we have done this let's delete everything here delete all press f1 all right so we are good to go. Let's impute this question exactly as we have it here. So it's in fraction. Make use of this fraction button. Okay. So we have 4 minus 8x alpha x. Okay. Plus 5x square alpha x square. All right. Minus x cube alpha x. The cube you make use of this power function, all right? Over okay, so we have 2x alpha x, okay, cube, all right? It will come down, okay? So we have minus 9x alpha x square, okay, plus 12x. All right, alpha x minus 4. And that's all. Hope we're not omitting any number or any value. Okay, it's correct. So let's press the quote and you will get the result. It's as simple as that, guys. Press the quit. Minus 0 0.33. And minus 0 0.33 is the same thing as minus 1 over 3. Let's verify it. So it deletes, deletes everything. F1. So when you check minus one over three, 
press execute so to change this to decimal we press st so you can see minus 0.33 so the answer is one option b it's as simple as that guys now for question two this time i want the limit is tending to seven all right so to solve it all you have to do will be to add 0 0.001 to this three and store it as x in the calculator so to do this we need to clear everything all right to be at the safe side so to clear we go back to menu all right so we go to system we go to system all right execute okay we have reset f5 then we have next page initialize or f3 yes f1 so it will begin to reset it okay it's as simple as that guys that's the procedure you have to follow all right so ensure you stay with the very end of this video this question trade that has angle sign and tan for it because i'm going to say different thing there all right so you learn how to solve types of sign and tan all right so let's see it it's done okay so we have limit x then to three we have this expression so we are going to begin with we press one matrix is a good so we have three plus zero point zero zero one all right press is a good so we store this as x to store we press this arrow button first take note of this for this calculator all right then press alpha x where is the good? It indicates that it has been stored as one X. So let's delete everything. All right. So let's delete everything. Let's go to exit. Delete. Oh. Okay. It's good to go. So let's impute this expression exactly as we have it here. So it's going to be make use of this fraction button. So we have roots, square roots of oh, so you make use of this square root function you press shift this s square button to bring out square roots shift this so we have square roots of x upper x okay square all right then we have plus x alpha x okay plus three over we have s okay wait before we go to the denominator let's finish the, the numerator so you give space and press minus very important guys then square root of shift this all right for x alpha x okay then plus three all right then go to the denominator we have x alpha x to the power four all right minus 81 and that's all first of course you are good to go so what do we have here we have let's check if we are correct yeah, so we have three point five eight times ten to the power minus zero minus zero three zero point two zero three. Okay, let's what I'm going to do, do now will be to evaluate the options. They want to give us three point five eight times ten to the power minus zero three. All right, so it's as simple as that, guys. Let's delete everything. Delete all. Press F one. Okay, so let's begin with option A. Remember, we have three points five times three to the power minus zero three there about. So, option A, we have one over twenty four roots. Shift this three. As a good press SD to put it in this signal. No, so let's check option B let's do the necessary changes here so option b we have 72 
here 72 then with 15 all right so that's it please recruit confirm this is the result value because your answer is what option b all right but let's see check option c and see what we're going to get so the necessary changes here the difference is in this route so we have three so we two three no and let's check option d <laughs> this is very, very interesting guys option d okay so we have 15 here 15 and then we have 24 here all right so remove the seven that's it no so answer is what option b it's as simple as that guys now finally question three let's delete everything here f2 delete all yeah so for question three offense let's reset because we're going to store a fresh number so you go to menu all right then go to system execute all right so we have reset f5 then next page initialize or f2 then yes f1 so it will begin to initialize all now for this question that involves angle ensure that the calculator is always really smooth for it in case your calculator happens to be in degree put it in really smooth all right so is it the press is it okay so by default my calculator here is in ready mode all right so i'm going to show you so by default is in ready mode press is a good for this one matrix all right so if you check here is in ready mode by default so we are going to do we are safe if you solve this problem we're going to get the correct answer but in case yours happens to be in degree because you can solve limits of a function in degree and get the right answer when the question is not involving angle like sine cos and tan right but when, once the question is involving angle all right and your calculator is in degree if you solve it, you get the wrong value you have to put it in ready mode to so put in ready mode in case yours happens to be in degree all you have to do is to press shift menu all right so you scroll down to angle so as you can see it's in radius and then yours happens to be in degree say we have degree is in degree here all you have to do is press f2 and put it in radius and you'll be good to go let's just exit hope that is understood all right so let's store 0 0.001 plus 0 in this calculator the value the result we're going to get so let's do it we to have 0 plus 0 0.001 all right is it good so this is what we have so to store it you press this arrow button first all right then press alpha x then is it good to indicate that it has been stored very, very important guys so now that we have done this let's delete everything delete all f1 yes okay so let's impute the values let's simplify the expression we have sine 2x okay alpha x all right okay it's minus minus okay tan we have tan 2x okay alpha x all right then over x alpha x cube all right and that's all let's press equal to now and get our value or our result is as simple as that guys very very interesting so let's press is equal to now minus 4.0 all right so minus 4.0 is something nice minus 4 so answer is what option c this zero here they are not they're not approximate table all right so you cannot approximate it the zero is there so that means the answer is what minus four option c is as simple as that guys now let me show you if we solve this in degree let's say i give you answer uh, let's put it in degree now i'm going to show what i'm telling you so let's go to angle 
press one f one seven degree let's see it now it's not in degree let's press of course now we're going to get different value you see so make sure that is way used to solve for and limit revolving angles right so that's it for this class hope you learned something interesting if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button now to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this so like share and comment on this video then how you feel for what you have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to leave your question at the comment section below and i will ensure to give you a response that's it for this class guys thanks for watching don't forget to reset or clear your calculator once you are done so, so all you have to do is to go to menu all right so uh, i want to believe that you have known how to do it by now so go to system press is a good and press reset which is f5 next page initialize or f2 f1 and the calculator will begin to be set and you will be good to go guys so that's it for this class thanks for watching see you in my next video okay is it